Hey Trinity San Diego family, Pastor Todd here along with our founding pastor, Pastor Bob. And uh, every Wednesday for the past few weeks, we've been doing something called Pray First. It's a weekly Wednesday prayer time that we do at 6 a.m. on Wednesday. But due to recent events, we've had, rather than you come to us, we're coming into you and into your living rooms to really talk and pray because we wanted to make prayer our first response, not our last resort. And I'm reminded in 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, it says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and heal their land. We are in the need of healing in our land. And so we want to gather and pray specifically uh, for the coronavirus. Right, Pastor Bob? Mm -hmm. You know, this, this plague literally that's spreading across our globe is something we can pray, uh, we can pray about and intercede for. Right. It's interesting that uh, God... Uh, commanded through Moses to Aaron to go and stand and stop the plague. And here's the way that he did it. It says in Numbers chapter 16, it says, So Aaron did as Moses said and ran into the midst of the assembly. The plague had already started among the people, but Aaron offered up incense and made atonement for them. And then it goes on to say that he stood between the living and the dead. He literally, through his prayers, stop the plague so let's go to prayer and let's offer up our incense to the lord he took that incense the censer in there and the incense is symbolic of prayer so join me as we pray for this situation heavenly father we thank you that you are in charge of this world like someone said the other day that old song you have the whole world in your hands we come before you and we pray first for our nation and then the world that you will literally stop the death you intervene in your mercy. We ask God for the plague to stop and for life to come, for answers to come. We pray for all those doctors, medical people, everyone that's dealing with this, our leaders, give them wisdom that this plague might be stopped. Let's just take the next few moments and continue to pray that way as the Lord directs.
next prayer topic, uh, we break these down into five minute segments, is our, our next prayer topic specifically is for our world. Our world is in uh, just disarray. And so let's go to God for our world, even right now. So Father, we love you. We're so grateful that you have brought us to such a time as this, but we pray for our world, Lord. We pray that you will heal the land, heal the people in the world who are battling this coronavirus, Lord. We're praying that all men can be drawn unto you. So God, I pray that you use this situation, this circumstance, so that we can come closer to you. We love you, Lord, in your name. Amen. Let's continue to lift up our world for the next few moments. You know, we live in the greatest country in the world, yeah. the United States of America. We're so privileged here. But right now, someone said it's almost like we're in a movie, yeah. the way things are happening. And people, you know, we who trust in Christ, we have hope, but many people have no hope. They don't know what to do. So let's go to prayer for our country right now. Father, we just thank you today that you love our nation. Yes. God. You shed your grace on this nation, but perhaps this nation has drifted away from you. There's no doubt about that. So we pray, turn our nation back to God, as Pastor Todd read earlier. We pray for America, and we ask you, God, to send your mercy again. In judgment, remember mercy. Let's just continue in these next few moments to hold up our nation.
Hey everyone, we are continuing praying for our world, but right now we're particularly praying for our city and our state. Um, wherever state you are living in or wherever you, you, you call your home, I pray right now that you will go and pray for your city, pray for the state, pray for the leaders of, those, of your city and your state. So let's pray right now. Father, we live in Poway in San Diego in San Diego County, Lord, we pray right now for our city. God, we pray that you will meet the needs of our city. God, we pray for revival in our city, that revival will spark in Poway and in San Diego, and it will spread through the state of California, God. We're believing for a great awakening that will take place in our great state, Lord, that it will spread throughout the country. So, Lord, be with us in this time. We need you right now. We love you, Lord, in your name. For the next few moments, pray for your city and your state.
Hi, you know, right now people are really afraid right. because the stock market has dipped drastically. Mm -hmm. And so there's a lot of fear and we need to pray for our finances. It's interesting that 
when the children of Israel went into bondage in Babylon, God told them to pray for the prosperity of that city right. so yeah. they might prosper. Yeah. And God wants that. Let's, we know that we deserve judgment. We, that's clear. But we are praying for mercy now right. and repentance so that there can be mercy. Right. So join me as we pray for this financial situation. Father in heaven, we know that for many people, Mammon, it's a God, it's an idol. Money's a God. Yep. And maybe, Lord, you're using this to bring those gods and humble them. But we pray for people right now that they'll, that they'll be protected. We pray for their prosperity, yes. Lord, that yes. they'll succeed and do well, and that they'll learn whatever lessons they need to learn because of this financial crisis. We pray for all those who are handling our money and all that that are directing where our finances go as a nation. Yes. Give them wisdom in handling that. We ask in Jesus' name. Now take the few, the next few minutes, just as the Lord directs you, continue along that theme. Yeah. Hey everyone, our elected officials are really at a pivotal time in so many different ways, uh, making decisions on behalf of our local government, uh, and our state government, and our U.S. government, and so we really want to be mindful about lifting up uh, our elected officials, regardless of your political persuasion, which side you, you lean on. We are called to pray for those that are in power and in authority. So let's go right now and pray for our elected officials as they're making decisions with this coronavirus and within our government. So Father, we pray for those elected officials that you have placed there, whether we believe 
in the same line as them, Lord, we are called to pray for them. So I pray for their decisions that they're making. God, I pray that they uh, are making it with wisdom and knowledge and they are thinking about the American people, Lord, and they're thinking about our world even in these moments. So God, give them wisdom. I pray a hedge of protection around them. I pray that they are healthy, that they get rest when they need to. I pray that they don't stress out too much, that they can uh, make the decisions needed to be made best for uh, all that are involved. So we love you today. Uh, if you would, pray for your elected officials uh, for the next few moments. joining us at Pray First. We hope that this was a valuable time where you really got to dive in and pray and seek the needs and seek the, really the will of God in going forward. We pray that this will be something that will carry on the rest of the day, that will encourage you and will continue to speak to you. So continue to make prayer your first response, not your last resort.